How to grow a small YouTube channel. Hiya, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a way that you can grow a small YouTube channel. This is super easy and free to implement. The trouble that I found is that there's tons and tons of advice on YouTube about how to grow your channel, how to do this, how to do that. And while much of the advice is very, very good, it's made by super big channels that already have a massive following. And when you're a new channel and you try to implement some of these things, you just don't see the same results. So stick around because these tips are gonna help you grow your small YouTube channel and make it a little bit bigger. So let's head on over to YouTube analytics. Now I have a small YouTube channel. The purpose of my channel is not to go viral and become some famous YouTuber. I never wanted to do that. But by implementing the steps that I'm gonna teach you in this video, I've seen my own data really, really go up. So for example, you can see here, over the past 28 days, a 22% increase in impressions, a 44% increase in click-through rate, 55% increase in views, 37% increase in unique viewers. If we actually go back and just look at a general overview of this particular channel, you can see subscribers have gone up 275%, watch time's gone up 50%, views have gone up 55%. So basically, it's going up. And this is not by doing anything sneaky or underhand, it's by doing exactly what we're gonna look at right now. So. Let's go on over to this page here. This is just youtube.com. And when we go to youtube.com, YouTube gives us some videos that it thinks we will potentially watch. This is called browse. And you'll see that a lot of your traffic may come from the browse feature. And if it's not, it's going to if you follow this tip. So what this basically is, it's YouTube recommending videos that we might potentially be interested in based on other videos that we've watched. So for example, I've started watching uh, videos about online scams and you know pyramid schemes and all that. And funnily enough, this video appears here. Now I've never subscribed to this channel, Top Tens, but YouTube thinks, well, that's what Adam's been watching in the past, so he might like this one. You know, I sometimes watch stuff about Game of Thrones. I sometimes watch sports videos. I live in Japan, and not long ago we had the 10th anniversary of the tsunami, so I was watching videos about that, so therefore this video has appeared here. Now, these are videos that are about topics that I'm interested in, but I've not necessarily subscribed to these channels or even heard of them. But if these channels, if these videos, I should say, have an attractive thumbnail and title, I could be inclined to click on these. Not only will I watch the video, but I might end up subscribing to that channel as well. And you want to make sure that the videos you make appear here for the audience that don't know that you exist yet. And there's a very simple way to do this. So if we're over here, this is a channel in the dog training niche. And I just search for this to give you an example. You want to find YouTube channels that are bigger than you. You want to find the ones that get a lot of traffic and you want to go to the YouTube channel homepage and then you want to navigate to this videos section. This is going to show you all of the videos that that channel has uploaded. You can then sort these by most popular. And as you can see here, this video is the most popular one on this channel, even though it's four years old. And what you want to do is you kind of want to scroll down, just click on that. You want to scroll down and you want to basically see if you can find any common themes among the popular videos. Now what I found very easily by looking at this channel is that a lot of this guy's popular videos are about puppies. They're about how to train your puppy to do things, how to train your puppy to stop biting, how to train your puppy easily. Three things to teach your new puppy. Now he's got other videos that aren't related to puppies but he's got a lot of puppy related videos and his audience seemingly like these videos more because they're the most popular videos. So in essence, what we're doing is we're piggybacking off of all of the people that watch this guy's puppy related videos. And because a ton of people are watching these videos, when they go to youtube.com, there's a high possibility that YouTube will say, look, here's another video on puppies, which would be your video. And if you have a great thumbnail and title that grabs people attention, 
then you can potentially get a click, snipe some traffic over to your channel, and if you do a good job, they will stick around, they might like, engage, um, subscribe to your channel, and you can grow that particular way. If you'd like tips on how to create good quality thumbnails, then there'll be a link in the description for articles. But all it takes is for you to do this and take action consistently. If you have any questions about this method, let me know in the comments section below. If you got value from this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any other videos. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews. So go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.